morning, I'm currently doing more work. Um, like last minute prep before this exam. It's six in the morning, so I wanted to get quite a bit done before the exam, because the exam's at nine. So I've got about two and a half hours to finish up my notes. So, yay, what fun. I'm very tired, and I'm not looking forward to the exam at all. I know I'm going to do badly, but that's fine. Well, what else can you do, really? It's annoying because I know I have to concentrate so hard on like my revision and stuff, but I'm already thinking about what I can do the rest of the week, and I can't be spending my time doing that. I need to be working and, and like, well, just working, just working loads. Um, it's currently half past six. Is it half past six? No, it's nearly seven o'clock. It's like five to seven, um, so uh, I'm going to go get ready for the day, like go to lessons and stuff, um, and then finish up my reading, because I've done all, all the notes, like all my finite notes done, so I just need to read through them loads, and, um, and then I'll be as ready as I'll ever be for this exam, so, yeah. I mean, at the end of the day, if it doesn't go well, I can reset, um, because my summer is going to be pretty empty. Uh, in terms of lectures and stuff, then I'll have lots of time to revise it. Um, but, yeah, I don't really want to reset. Actually, I don't even know if you can reset in the second year. I think you probably can, yeah. Um, but, yeah, I'm going to go get ready, and then I'll keep you updated. Also, my throat is feeling really weird. I don't know if you could tell, but my speech was a bit off there. Right, the plan now is I'm going to go down to the library and meet my friends for a bit of last minute, like, group revision. And then we'll be going to the exam, so um, I'll take the phone with me. But I won't be able to talk until after the exam, I don't think. So, um, this is it. And I will see you when I'm done. So, could have gone better. Could have gone worse, I guess. Um, it wasn't the best exam in the world. I'm just going to try and not think about it now, but at least I'm done. Look, it's Eleanor. She's come to let me in. Hooray. The exam was, um, like, four small essay questions. 40 multiple choice questions and then like three little mathematics questions um the multiple choice was awful like there's so many questions i didn't really know the answer to enough that i could do a decisive one so i could narrow it down to like two of the options but i couldn't really narrow it down to one so a lot of it was guesswork and then the mathematics one my calculator broke so i couldn't use my calculator so i had to try and do it in my head which was awful <laughs> and um and then the essay questions were just really difficult um so i've tried to do as much as i could for them like my, my answers look good if you look at the paper it looks good but the content of them is shit <laughs> so uh, i'm just going to try and put it behind me forget about it and just have a nice relaxing week before i get back into lectures and then really work at this term and make sure that these modules can boost my grade loads uh yeah i'm right at age right now because she wants me to help her like just I want, she wants me to read through one of her assessments so i make sure it's all okay so i brought her food and because i'm nice you know I'm also going to try and figure out if my numerical questions were right on my phone. A stupid mistake on the maths questions. Like, this is stupid considering I did A-level physics and maths. And I did further maths for a year. Like, that's actually abysmal. <laughs> so glad that I'm done now. Like, that's all I can say now. But, like, if it's, if it's bad, then I can resit the exam, hopefully. If not, I'm going to be working really hard this term to, like, go to the library every day almost every day and just do my notes and make sure I know everything. If I miss lectures, I'll go to the library, catch up. I'm hoping to spend excess time in the library, like go there more often than I actually have to, because then I'll be going over work rather than writing new stuff. So that should be quite good for me. I can make little revision cards as I go through the course. So that'd be quite good. Um, but yeah, um, yeah, I just need to focus on the fact that it's done now. Can't do anything about it and just improve myself. And now I've got a week to relax and do do jack shit, so that's pretty nice. Um, Ellie's doing a poo at the moment. <laughs> that wasn't a, like a, an, a a groan while she tried to poo. That was a laugh. But she she doesn't poo straining and going. <coughs> that's a bit weird. Um, but yeah, <sighs> I'm actually really tired and I I got enough sleep. It's weird. I am home now and I'm really hungry, so I'm going to do some chicken and bacon tortellini, which I picked up yesterday uh, for very cheap, only 38 pence.
Uh, there's probably enough in there for like two, possibly even three meals, but I think I'm probably going to eat it all in one go because I'm a fat bastard who likes food and I don't have any other food. I need to go shopping later. I've tried to make like a cheese sauce without using like a pan because I couldn't be bothered to wash up much. So like I've just put like a bit of onion, um, cheese, milk, tiny bit of flour and some pepper in the microwave and I'm hoping it will actually come out okay. It's probably going to be quite runny. I think I put too much milk in, but you know, I could use a runny sauce. Depends how much this pasta, because there's, there's like, there's quite a lot. That's not like full, it's floating. Uh, yeah, so hopefully it'll be alright. No, it doesn't look particularly appetising, but it tastes amazing. So it's like really runny cheese sauce. I think because I put the milk in the microwave, it kind of curdled a bit, which is kind of sucky. But it tastes really nice. And so, I'm going to do my washing up, then eat this um, whilst watching um, the next episode of Star Trek Discovery, because that came out today. Yay! Well, that was another amazing episode of Star Trek Discovery, actually. Really, really enjoyed it. I thought that was absolutely fantastic. Um, yeah, uh, like, I knew after last episode that um, Tyler was going to be the son of none Klingon guy, but that's still really, really, um, really, really cool how that all tied in. It's very sad, but it's very cool. Um, right now.